Chris and Lindsay had worked at the Washington Animal Clinic in Brenham for two years. That changed Friday morning because of this Facebook post showing her brag about hunting a feral cat with a bow and arrow. Lindsay was fired and name on the sign outside covered with duct tape. Our goal now is to go on and try to fix our black eye um, and, and hope that people are reasonable and understand that those actions don't in any way portray what we are for here at the Washington Animal Clinic. We put our heart and soul in this place. While the clinic's phone rang more than 500 times Friday morning, supporters like Shannon Stoddard stopped by with balloons and a thank you. She's amazing. She's caring. She's loving. Um, she's a good vet. So maybe her bad choice of posting something on Facebook was not good. Um, but I don't think she should be judged for it. All these people in cities just don't understand what goes on in the country and they get in an uproar. Well, they ought to just mind their own business. Austin County Sheriff Jack Brandis believes the cat was killed near New Weedham Road, south of Brenham. It's a very sad thing to have to deal with this, but we are investigating it and we will continue to do a good, thorough investigation and obtain all, any and all evidence. A skilled Melanie Death, the founder of True Blue Animal Rescue, believes the cat that was killed was Tiger a six-year-old orange tabby. She didn't even take the time to find out if that cat was a friendly cat or a feral cat. And again, either way, it's animal cru cruelty. And, and it's, not a good, it's not a good message to send to our community. The sheriff's office will be the ones to determine if Dr. Lindsay will face animal cruelty charges.